little bit more peppy in this video because finally we're losing some of this dang snow that just seemed to be lurking forever and ever and it just never wanted to go away. Well, it finally has and along with it came some wind. So hopefully that doesn't deter this video too much and we can actually still have a pretty awesome video about a really awesome uh, multi-tool that was released actually just this year. Guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And now let's jump into the review on the Charge Plus. Keep wanting to call this the AL, but this is actually the Charge Plus. You guys are probably pretty familiar with, or maybe you guys will notice, I don't actually tend to review that many brand new products uh, for like brand new model year products, but this is actually an exception to that rule because it is a charge and I've been looking to get a charge for years actually. I really like the tool set that comes on the charge and aside from it missing the all, it actually um, has the same exact tool set that the char sorry surge has and so i really love what the surge offers and i actually do miss the fact that this doesn't have an all on it but obviously due to size and is a little bit different the charge plus does not have that now i will say that this is of course the new model for the year it looks like uh, leatherman is doing away with their charge uh, AL, their Charge ALX, their Charge TTI, and standardizing the entire setup or their entire charge line into this new Charge Plus. And so this is the same exact tool uh, or the same tool set, same tool size that you would have found with the TTI or the ALX or the AL. It's just consolidated into the Charge Plus. Now I will note with the Charge Plus, what's different is that like the Charge AL and ALX, uh, they use aluminum hand Handles. So this is not titanium, it's going to be a little bit heavier, but it's also going to be a lot more affordable than their Charge TTI. And I think that's the reason they dropped the TTI is because honestly, it was at a price range that most people were not looking to get a $150 multi-tool. Most people were looking at most $90 to $100 for multi-tool. And so the Charge AL fits the bill very well. Sorry, not the hell. Dang it, the Charge Plus fits that bill very well. However, they did have to go over to black oxide finished um, aluminum handle scales. Now, the rest of this is steel, and you guys will notice, if you guys have ever handled the Charge at all you'll notice that whatever handle scales it has there is also a steel liner so with this there is black uh you guys will be able to see this but uh, there's black uh was this aluminum handles and scales and then on the inside reinforced with steel so it's still very sturdy very heavy duty and a little bit lighter than a standard like surge actually significantly lighter than surge but probably more like a wave size is definitely gonna be lighter than that in addition to that they have taken down the s30 v steel bumped it down to a lot like the charge al or alx down to the 154 cm for me 154 cm is perfectly fine i think with the amount i use a multi-tool blade main blade option like this 154 is going to be perfect in fact i did actually like that increased steel choice over the 420 hc and it just keeps its edge a bit better than 420 420 is a really weak steel as far as edge uh, edge retention goes it does not hold it that well but other than that uh, no s30 v steel unfortunately but 154 cm like i said for the amount of realistic use you're going to be seeing in this tool it's not that bad in my opinion so aside from that, I also want to talk about how it comes and the new sheath, what I think about the new sheath, because I saw this at SHOT Show. I wasn't at SHOT Show, but I watched videos, obviously, and Leatherman was talking about how awesome this sheath is and just what they liked about it. I will say a couple things I do want to note that this came with is when it came with this sheath, and inside the sheath, it came with a small version of the bit kit, so I'll go over that in a little bit, and then it also came with a lanyard hole, which I do not currently have mounted on the tool and it came with probably my favorite option and modification is a pocket clip and so that's honestly why this is not in its sheath is once I saw that pocket clip I was like bye bye sheath throw this out the window and I know I, I can't carry my like bit kit and I can't carry you know the extra stuff that's kind of nice to have but I'm like screw that I love that clip it looks so perfect on this knife it fits right in my pocket oh it's just great so I threw that clip on there and since day one that clip has stuck on this knife no 
exceptions. Uh, it's always been on there and I really love it. So jumping over to the sheath, uh, honestly, I like this sheath. There's nothing really wrong with it. I will say for me, when I got my Surge, I managed to pick up a Surge that had a leather sheath and that leather sheath had a button on it. So I never really worked much with their uh, what is it velcro sheaths that were nylon but i have worked with a gerber sheath that has, was velcro and nylon and it sucked and it was not a good sheath it didn't last long and i honestly kind of threw it in the bin of not using it anymore but this is a really nice sheath i do love buttons because buttons are a lot more quiet than the velcro and they're way way more durable so i really do like the fact that they finally switched over to buttons this button here is very tough it's not going to easily pop open i will say speaking to my older my surge sheath the buttons do get easier to open and close as they age but that's just the nature of buttons but it starts off nice and strong and then like i said they come with a half full set uh, this is a one-sided bit kit here but it comes half full with this and so you get a whole bunch of different hex heads it appears and then you also get a larger torque i think this is a t8 to a t10 i'm not exactly sure and unfortunately on these actual bits oh no it does say it so this is a t15 and a 1 8 inch uh, flathead and then you have uh, more hex bits so you got like a rectangle bit hex bits and a handful of those just a whole bunch of different little things personally for me the reason why I never went out and like I said this is purely speaking of my own preferences and reality uh, the reason why I never went out and got a bed kit I don't mind the extra bits that came with this it was kind of cool to actually finally play with some other bits but the reality is for me and what I do I don't live such a specialized life that honestly when I have to go to my multi tool for a bit generally it's going to be a flat head or a phillips head which is what they always include in these and so they're just a what is this a number one through two it looks like uh phillips head and then a three sixteenths flat head and that is really perfect for me it works tightening everything i need my multi-tool to tighten so for me it's not really that realistic that i need like a t15 and you know like all these different types of torques or rectangle bits or uh, different hex heads i just don't need them so honestly that's why i never went out and got a bed kit for my surge is because i just never needed it on the surge and i still don't need it on the charge for me personally i like i said when i do use these bit this bit driver i just find that these work for me so that's kind of the reality to that now i will get over to the oxide finish i will say the oxide finish on this does leave a little bit to be desired the oxide the black oxide will wear off pretty fast and there are i'll do a close-up roll somewhere in this video of show you guys kind of the damage that is done there's not a whole lot but you'll definitely be able to see scratches and wear marks on the oxide because obviously this is aluminum and it's only an oxide finish so it's not particularly strong I got this tool to be my working tool. I got this, like I get most of my Leathermans with that ability to be used and to be, you know, be used and thrashed on. And it's not gonna be a pretty little safe queen kind of tool. So other than that, uh, other features, I'm not, and they've actually been doing this for years, but this is actually my first Leatherman with replaceable bit, or not bit, but with replaceable, uh, what are these, wire cutters. That is a really nice feature. They've actually been doing it for years, so I didn't want to talk too much about that, but of course, this knife does, or not knife, <laughs> multi-tool, does have replaceable wire cutters, and of course, this is a charge, so it has the normal wire cutters, and then it has hardened wire cutters. Now, this is a charge, so it does not have wire wire crimpers which would be located down here sorry guys i didn't bring out my surge so you guys can't necessarily see what wire crimpers look like but the surge has wire crimpers so it's it's honestly one of those tools though in all honesty i don't use wire cutters and i don't really use uh a wire crimpers at all i've never actually used the wire crimpers i have used the wire cutters occasionally but i don't ever really use wire crimpers so it's not a big deal for me anyways um overall for the year 2018 this is a really great tool and it is kind of nice i thought they might be doing this in the near future of Mul or leatherman really just kind of 
repairing down the charge line because their charge line was really kind of excessive in all honesty they had a lot of tools like they were all the same basic tool just with different materials so they finally pared it down to just this charge plus and they did a great job i think picking everything that you really want in a upper end tool if you want to go to something that's like a wave but a more upper end with a few more tools and of course like a clip included and stuff like that this is a great option to go for i have no regrets buying a charge like i said i have wanted one for a long time and i'm glad i held out to this year to get a brand new charge or the brand new charge for this year and yeah it's a, it's a really great tool i have no complaints on the the different tool sets it has i will say i kind of wish my about my only gripe is i wish they would have swapped the file for the scissors i feel like they made this file a main it's one of the four main tools on the outside and for me i kind of question that because i rarely ever use a file in fact on my surge you can swap the file and the saw out and i've never once put the file in that uh, in that or that multi-tool because i just never use it so i wish they would have put a scissor set or a scissor piece that's more similar to what the surge had on here and put the file in the actual handles as opposed to putting the scissors in the handle and the file on the outside um, other than that it's overall a really great tool i will note too something else i nearly forgot was that all the four main exterior tools run on phosphorus bronze washers and they open very very smoothly in comparison i have compared my surge to this tool in just the ease of opening and it is noticeably smoother to open these tools even after there's lint and junk and all of that stuff in there uh, they're still noticeably smoother to open so do take that into account as well it's very nice and this is definitely an upper end uh, multi-tool if you want something that's more classy a little bit more uh, thought put into the design this is definitely the tool to go for anyways guys that is all i really have to say on the charge plus keep wanting to call it the al but the charge plus for the the new model for this year it's a really great tool would highly recommend it if you are looking at the charge lineup it's a really awesome choice and that's basically all i have to say on it it's a great one to carry anyways guys god bless and i'm out